Right, so in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to use the nightclub and how to make the most money out of it, or if you're having problems with bugs, glitches, or whatever, I will be explaining the most popular one that is going around at the moment and how you could potentially fix it. So if this video does go on to help you in any way, be sure to drop a like on it and also subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you never miss an upload from my channel. But anyways, with that said, let's just get right into this video. So obviously, you can't really make a nightclub video without talking about popularity because some people are interested in it. However, just don't do it. Even if you're interested in it, just don't do it. It's not worth it. You can spend up to a hundred thousand dollars of buying people you can buy DJs and it fills up the bar just a little bit however if you keep buying DJs to fa max it out then it'll cost you a hundred thousand dollars in the end and you will only make about 80 to 90 thousand at best back from that full popularity bar unless you obviously wait with the $100 coming in every 48 minutes so me personally don't do popularity it's a waste of time go do triple money go do double money go do some contracts or something in free roam moving on so then moving on we obviously then have the upgrades now there's only really one upgrade you need from this page which is obviously going to be the actual facility upgrade which improves your product and also makes it so your people produce the product even quicker now if you do you can get security upgrades so you don't really get raided as much but you do have to be in a lobby for as minimum as eight hours if you buy the security upgrade and if you don't have it a minimum of four hours in a free roam lobby and you'll be raided at any random time after that but most probably you won't be in there for long so me personally if you want to buy it if you don't want to, you, no worries. The staff upgrade, it's not worth it. It's popularity. We say popularity, we move on to the next. And the next one is the one that everyone is interested in, which is obviously going to be all of the actual production underground, because this is where you are going to make the serious moolah, the serious money from your nightclub. And to get this up and running, you are going to want a CEO crate warehouse, you're going to want a bunker, you're going to want the cocaine lockup, the meth lockup, the weed lockup, the document forgery, and also the counterfeit cash. Now, that may seem like a lot, but as of recording this video, all of the businesses are 30% off. So if you're watching this and it isn't, it hasn't been over a week, get your ass on that as quickly as possible because they're 30% off as of right now. Now then, once you have purchased these properties, you are going to want to buy a manager. Now, why do you want managers? Because managers are the ones you assign to the actual production of your business. Because once you have bought the business and once you have bought the managers, that's it, you don't do anything. You just get a message saying, oh, the warehouse is full. You come over, you sell it, done. So then, if you can, buy all five managers first alongside the businesses. So in my personal opinion, if say you have $2 million and a manager costs half a million, then buy the manager and then buy one of the businesses for one and a half million. Now, just saying in these businesses, you do have to set them up. However, they do not need product in them at any point. They do not need supplies. None of my MC businesses have product or supplies in them. My people are just sitting on their ass with their fingers up their ass, doing fuck all all day, and I'm making bank from them. So you don't need supplies. You don't need anyone there. Sometimes you will come across that it doesn't really work. And also, you may sometimes see that the business is shut down and you haven't realized for over a week. Can't relate. Can't relate. So then speaking of the business shutting down, once you then do actually buy the business, you do have to set it up and you will get supplies from that setup. But you can either then either explode the products if you don't want to sell, do the sell mission, or you can just actually do them and get a little bit extra money if you feel like doing it with the MC businesses. Obviously, the bunker and also the CEO crates, you'll probably use them to actually make money every day if you are a grinder. But the MC businesses, my opinion, if you're solo, they're not worth it. So again, just make sure you have a manager assigned to your business. Now, what businesses should you assign your managers to? Well, it's the ones you see on screen right now. The full top row and the full left hand side. The two in the middle that you see unmarked, they are the two worst ones. However, once you do have someone assigned to them, just make sure that you do go along 
assign them and obviously just assign people to them. You will get a message once your managers have fully filled out one of the products. You can then just go back, assign them to a different one and then move on with your day or sell it because once you do have one of these managers maxed out, you will just be able to sell it and get over a million dollars. So then quickly, just before I talk about the glitch that is going around right now, just remember, so long as you have all five managers and also you have all seven businesses, you can assign five managers to your businesses and then that's all you have to do. Buy them seven businesses that I mentioned before, they are the seven that you need for the nightclub. No other business works with it, it's just these seven. Once you have them, buy the managers, assign them to it and then you'll be good to go. Now the popular glitch going around at the moment is that the product isn't actually filling in some of your businesses. You may log on, you may see that your manager is assigned to the business, however it ain't producing. It for some reason just doesn't want to produce and it isn't producing product. All your other businesses are, but one or two of them isn't doing it. A simple fix for this is either unassign the manager, save the game by changing your outfit and then reassign him, that should usually fix it or sometimes you will have to go to the business itself and just double check that it isn't shut down because if the business is shut down and no one is in there, then it won't produce product. Again, you do not need product or supplies within this business. You just need it running. You don't need supplies in it. Granted, you'll have LGT on your ass about it, but who cares about him? You're still making bank with the nightclub. And so with that glitch said, if it doesn't help you in any way, you can contact Rockstar with the top link in the description to their support page and you can try and fiddle your way around there and get support from there. You can try and see if you can get a refund on something, get some money out of it, or I don't know. But just try everything first, restart your game, launch the business again, shut it down, launch it up. Not the nightclub, don't shut down the nightclub, shut down the MC business that isn't producing. Shut that business down, uh, unassign the manager, reassign the manager, swap all the managers around, do anything you can, and then contact Rockstar. Because, obviously, if you haven't tried everything, then they won't really help you. And then, just before I do the outro for this video, we're going to talk about business battles. Now, for those of you who don't know, the business battles are for your nightclub. The product in there is for your nightclub, and the product that you get from it is actually really good, because the product that you are delivering usually takes about two hours for one crate to fill up. In half an hour, you could get up to eight crates with one of these business battle missions. You can see I got the actual aircraft carrier, which I've been getting a lot recently, and there are eight crates on there. Simply then grab one, take it back to your nightclub, make sure you do everything else on there that you may have to do. Take it back to your nightclub, deliver it, you'll get $10,000, and you will also get a little bonus at the end of the actual business battle. Plus, you'll also get your crates, and at the end of it, it'll say how much your nightclub is worth once the mission is over, once all eight crates are delivered, or the, just the timer runs out and you failed at life and you failed to deliver all the crates. And so that pretty much does it for today's video, talking to you guys about the nightclub. Now remember, if you do have any problems about this video, then be sure to let me know down below, as I'll be glad to help as many people as I can in the comment section, because I usually reply 99.9% .9 of all comments I reply to, unless you're a cunt, then you get, well, you don't get blocked, your comment just gets deleted. Anyways, just moving on from that. But anyways, going off track from there, let's just make sure that you get your help. So be sure to leave a comment and I'm sure either myself or someone else in the comment section will help you out. Whether it be with a glitch or you're struggling setting it up, you can even leave your gamer tag down there or something and maybe someone will join you and help you set it up or help you buy the businesses or whatever. I don't know, it's the GCA community, they're weird. But anyways, if you did go on to enjoy this video in any way, be sure to drop a like and also subscribe with the notifications on so you are notified whenever I next upload. Go check out some of my videos because there are plenty more on the channel for you guys to go watch and I'll see you guys in the next video.